Hi, this is me. I'm Brian, and this is my husband, Tim. We've been together over 35 years, but there's always something that's come between us. My Disney obsession. And this is my husband, Disney, and me. Ah. Hello. We're finally back to the parks. To sorry the... it took so long. Okay. I was involved. Oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I insist. No, go ahead. After you. I was involved. <laughs> I was involved in in a show which took a while, and I'm involved in another show. But rehearsals aren't going to interfere with Disney. And today we're at Epcot, and but you can't tell it because he keeps there. See well, that building? Then right you're out us? of frame. That's okay. See the building back there behind us? That is the new building for right the, there for the. Uh, Guardians, Guardians of the, the Galaxy. Galaxy. Right. So that's attraction. When, you, when that event, what? attraction. Oh yeah. There are when, no rides in all of Disney World. There are only attractions. Okay. Anyways, after <laughs> we're done here, we're going to go over to um, my favorite park, which is Hollywood Studios, and but. Oh, and just basically to see the new Star Tours. Uh, yeah, Star Tours has uh, new scenes in it uh, that has a Rise of Skywalker added to it. So we're anxious to see that. And today, start, or well, actually yesterday, started the Festival of the Arts here at Epcot. We're here to see a couple of new films in Future World, and there's new films in World Showcase. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah. But first, here's a short clip of the Tron attraction. At the Magic Kingdom. Where the, the walls are actually going up. So we'll see you shortly. Watch this. See here is the new entrance or continued entrance of Epcot that they're slowly getting into position. It's going to be a great entrance, although it would be better if our pictures were still here. Yes, but you know. So here we are again. We're, again. We're uh, about to go on the attraction Spaceship Earth because it's leaving. It's going away. It's going to be closed. They're refurbishing it. And it's going to reopen in about two years. two years. So we have to go in and pay homage to Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis. There's a scientist in there who looks just like Jerry Lewis. Can you pull back? Because I don't think that's as long as my arm is. Get a longer arm. <laughs> All right. And for those of you, of you that don't know, there's always a hidden Mickey. This hidden Mickey. Well, we already covered this in another video. But, but I'm still showing it. it. I have trouble with the zooms. If you look at the number three sideways, that's a Mickey. Whoa! That's a Mickey. See the mouse ears? platform in your time Thank you. 
Hey, lady! Welcome to the future. Or should I say, your future? In the future, the city will be a great place to work. Innovative office buildings will be media-rich environments, outfitted with global networking and the latest digital tools to turn your dreams into reality. Need to be somewhere? No problem. Just pack up and go. You'll be able to keep working because your car drives itself. Your team is always available for brainstorming, even while you commute, thanks to a personal digital assistant that carries all your files. Who knew that board meetings could be such a blast? Time to relax. But if you live to work, you can keep an eye on your projects with video streaming digital display glasses that bring you messages and news. This just in, looks like it's going to be a great big beautiful tomorrow. The end, or should I say the beginning, of your future. This is what became of Universe of Energy. It is now going to be Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic, Cosmic Rewind. Hey, you got it right. Hey, well, you helped. I know. So here we are with the uh, official fig uh, Figment t-shirt, and look how they come. In a paint bucket! <laughs> and I believe those are the t-shirts right there. Out? I Should will. We somebody? Three hours later. And there is the shirt that is in the bucket. Here's the bucket. And there's the bucket. And it's a t-shirt strictly for us passengers. $32.99. A bargain at any price. And we also have some pass holder traveler mugs, if I can get my camera to work here. No, you can't get it to work. We're all messed up. There we go. Yeah. There they are. There we are. There's the pass holder mugs. $34.99. And here are some phone cases that are for pass holders with the star of the show Figment. And finally, the baseball cap featuring Figment. And the pass holder baseball cap is free. No, $27.99. Check this out. Wait. What? So look, let's check it out. Oh, cool. It's almost like a travel mug. Yeah, non skid thing. Oh, and you can use that as a lid. Yeah. How much is that? $19.99. Okay, so. All the rage now is reusable straws, and these are reusable straws, silicone straws. Even comes with a little brushy cleaner thingy there on the side, and that goes for $9.99. And that's for everybody, that's not just pass holders. And we have a Festival of the Arts Figment ma Magnet. See? $9.99. And this is a bunch of the construction we want to show you. This will be going on for the next two years. Epcot is still wonderful, and it's going to be even... wonderful -er. I was going to say that. <laughs> wonderful, that's a new word. That's I a new it. word, it's called wonderful -er. But there, everywhere you look, there's these um, semi construction walls, semi-permanent walls and construction everywhere you see. Over there used to be a place where they gave out free soda called Club Cool. I miss my Club Cool. Yeah, but that's also where Starbucks is. And yeah, Starbucks has now an outside vending 
station. So Starbucks is still here, they're just not inside at the moment. It's actually closer to Bowling Showcase now. Right. They're by International Gateway. Which is the entrance to World Showcase. So here we are at the land, which features Soarin' Over the World. But we're, we're really excited because now they have a new movie all about the Earth, which I've been looking forward to seeing. I've heard that's a planet nearby. It may be. And there it is. Awesome planet that we're going to go see. So we just saw the movie Awesome Planet, and the movie is awesome. awesome. It's a really good film. If you come to Epcot, make sure you go to the Land Pavilion and see the movie Awesome Planet. It's awesome. This 
construction complete. Sounds good to me. Clear. So, hi, we just got off of Star Tours. Uh, they have totally changed it. If you haven't been on Star Tours at Walt Disney World, you must go on Star In Tours at Walt Disney World. We will be traveling Excuse through me. the headwaters of the Everglades. We're vlogging here. The water that flows from the protected wow. wetlands around Walt Disney we'll World Resort no travels That's all the way that. to the Everglades, the Atlantic Ocean, and the Gulf of Mexico. So anyway, we went on Star Tours. If you have, if you, if, okay, wait. Gathering thoughts. All right, so you have to have seen uh, the rise of Skywalker. In you're in, yeah, movie. you're literally in the movie. You are in the movie. You are doing things that happened in the movie. So I don't know if this this has happened at uh, Disneyland Star Tours, but it's definitely here at uh, Disney World. We're not sure if they've made all of them the same, but at least the one we went into was like, we're in the movie. Yeah, it was so much fun. Oh, shout out to Anthony. Great costume, awesome. We met a guy uh, who was totally in costume yeah. for a Star, uh, Star Wars. Yeah. And I'm from head to toe, and we thought about it afterwards. It's like, why didn't we record him? He would have been something to say. Yeah, uh, we blew it again. Now we're new at this. So. But Anyways, if you get a chance to write Star Tours, you must do it. do it. Because it is completely changed, it is completely updated. Ah. Uh oh, jeez. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome we're, we're to Disney skyline. Caribbean Beach Resort. This is our final destination. We're All on. passengers must disembark at this station. Okay. Transfers and return service are available. Thank you. Thank you for flying with us. Hey, you're welcome. Anyway, make it quick. So, this guy was totally from head to toe, and we thought they would, wouldn't allow adults in. In uh, costume. In costume. He was totally costume, and it was awesome. And I am killing myself for not getting a picture. And Brian's killing himself for not taking a video. But Anthony, you're great. I hope you see this video because, wow, we'll see you again there, I'm sure. And this was his first one in our lives. And wow. Okay. He's going to be so impressed. Please yeah. remain seated. So we're now we're going to go over to. Open. When exiting the really? Please supervise children. Collect your belongings and watch your step. Thank you for flying with us. Por favor, quickly. And, and now we're going over to Epcot. Epcot to get our shirt. Bye. 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 Brian still hasn't um, achieved a longer arm. Uh, we just wanted to show you how long the line is when you're going on the Skyline or to Epcot. It's yeah. insane. So wait, wait till you see this line. It is always this way to Epcot. So I think they need to adjust something, like maybe bigger something. Because it's always this way. Look at the cute baby. It's so cute. Okay, that's it. Uh, Flying to Epcot is always long on the skyline. They right still, there. like this one is from last year, and I have to get this year's, this year, and they always do a villain. I do they do other things, but right. they have a specific villain every year. I keep asking for Cruella, yeah, so this year we get Ursula. It's fine, I'll take it. 
This may have always been here, but we just noticed just this. Just now, as we're walking back in to go over and get his t-shirt, we saw this neat shadow of Peter Pan. Peering in the nursery window. That is just very cool. That is very cool. And this is where they're going to have the... Uh, Cherry Tree Lane. Cherry Tree Lane. So that's kind of like... It's England. Yeah. One eternity later. Yeah, he always cuts me off. Anyway, <laughs> um, if anyone else has noticed this, that's great. Comment down below. But we never noticed it. We're here all the time. Yeah. I, I just looked to the left and was like, wow, there's a shadow of Peter Pan. Yeah. So this is Brian's favorite trip place during Festival of the Arts. It is. They do it right there in front of you. You get to choose your pattern. And uh, the villain, Brian's villain this year is first love. This is the most fun you can have having a shirt. I mean, they're literally making it in front of you. Put the second coat on and it gets really bright white. This is cheaper than the shirts they sell for the festival. This is true. Years. This is what? Twenty. Twenty-one dollars. Twenty-one dollars, and if you go for the shirt festival. You're talking thirty-five dollars for the festival shirt. Thirty-five dollars. And the shirt festival. Yeah. Is and there's the shirt he just made. Yeah. So this year they moved him outside to a booth. I guess they wanted more foot traffic. But, wow, this is the best bargain. And there's, really there's, the there's, there's my shirt in his hands. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. That's the one I would, if I was going to get one, I'd get that one. Can we get him a couple? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, no I think that you would be back down in the middle. I know you don't remember me, but I told you I'd be back. <laughs> Can you explain for the viewers what you're doing? Basically, right now, I'm just putting down two colors for the background for the festival. We got a red and a black, and them wet on wet on each other. Then I put it under, over here underneath my flash. I'm going to dry it, flashing, basically dry it. So when I print my top character on, the top character stands out on top and doesn't get muddy or bleeding oh, cool. in to the image. That way I don't have to stand there and try to register every single time. It's dry, so I can just draw it without getting ink to spread it. And now comes the image we've all been waiting for. There she is. There is my shirt. Oh, that looks awesome. And we'll throw that down our easy bake t shirt oven. <laughs> we'll get it up to 320 degrees. That cures and bonds the plastic salt to the shirt. Why doesn't that temperature burn the shirt? That's a low temperature. Oh, that's considered low? For, for t-shirts, yes. Oh, interesting. If I was to go higher, I would definitely scorch the shirts. How long is it in that machine? Roughly a minute and a half to two minutes. That's all. Thank you. That ends our Festival of the Arts experience today at Epcot Center. I want to point out something. If you look just beyond my head right there, that's a building that's been torn down. That used to be Club Cool, Starbucks, and, and I forget what else. Uh, the place that they had uh, the t-shirts before. Oh, that, that was the very first place that we, you saw the guy making the t-shirts. That was the very first house that they put the t-shirts in. Then they moved them across the way over there. Now they're in a booth. Right, now they're in a booth right outside of Canada. But I got my festival t-shirt.
if you're going to get a festival t-shirt, and I know everyone wants the pass holder merch, but you know what? This t-shirt is more special because it's exactly what you want. And it's they made... They make it right there yeah, and then. Yeah, it's made to order. It's... And you can watch them make it, like yeah. you just did. Yeah, you just so we hope you enjoyed the video. Please take your, uh, do us a favor, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget that bell notification. And please, feel free to share this on any social media. See you next time.